your food? <sighs> and you still have Dexter's lizard. Perfect! Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Dino Day and Dino Profiles, and today we are going to be covering the Meganera. Meganera's first appearance was in Dino Dana, where it only appeared in two episodes, the episode Dino Flies, and I can't remember the name of the episode, other episode, but yeah, one of the episodes was actually about how Meganera would have hunted, and the other episode was about how different prehistoric animals would have catched um, insects. So yeah, anyways, in this appearance it had a, had a yellowish green color scheme with black markings and red eyes. And, um, yeah, generally, it's a pretty simple design. It's not the most accurate to Meganera, but it's, you can definitely see it's highly based off a of dragonfly. But, um, yeah, anyways, it also appeared in the second volume of the Dino Dana Field Guide, which was the, um, volume dedicated to, um, prehistoric animals, where you can get a better look at the animal, where you can definitely see the patterns and such, you also can see it's kind of hairy as well in some parts. But, um, yeah, then Meganera got a redesign for Dino Dex where its color scheme shifted from a yellowy green to a orangey yellow and then it also got more red markings. Personally, I prefer the Dino Dana model and wish they would have kept that one since this design didn't really improve it. Though it didn't make it worse, it just again didn't make it any better. And again, you can also, again, you can see there are stripes on there. The red eyes are actually have a kind of a black part onto them. They have a lot of weird black red patterns across the yellow part of the body. And, um, yeah, Meganera really didn't have any appearances in games. It didn't appear in Dino Dan Dino Cam, one of the few creatures I didn't, in fact. And, um, yeah, generally, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dino Dan Dino Cam, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>